all be together. Hello Facebook, hello everyone watching on Catch Up on YouTube. I hope you're nice and warm and ready for a deep dive into the microbiome. As I said last time, today is going to be really fascinating. We're going to be looking at the microbiome in particular in relation to immunity. And we are looking at this, Bimuno. It's a brand new supplement. Many of you know Bimuno and you know that I take it. I love it to feed my good gut bugs. Well, they have done something really special. They have put some immunity boosters in here. I'm going to be talking all about that with Dr. Amika Okorocha. So let us see whether we can get him in the house. I am going to just add, first of all, I'm going to add Lainey because she's going to be on our Facebook page and she's going to be answering comments. So here we go. Let me see. Lainey, where are you? Lainey, there you go. I've added you onto Instagram and Lainey will pop comments up obviously on Facebook and I'll make sure that everything that we need to link to will be on the caption. It'll be saved. So don't worry if you can't watch it live. And let's go to Bimuno. Here we go. Lovely. I'm very much looking forward to this chat with this really brilliant doctor. It's going to be a lot of fun and very, very interesting. So thanks. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. I'm very well. I, I saw you were with my old friend, Eamon Holmes, not that long ago. Oh, yes, yes, I was on GB News, actually. Yeah, GB News. Yeah. I love Eamon. I mean, that takes me back to my days on GMTV. Oh, my goodness, such a great man. And yeah, he is, he is. He's a, he's, a lot, he's a lot of fun. Very funny. Yeah, he is. You have to watch him. And, you know, he's one of the few people in the whole world, I think, other than my parents, that actually call me Elizabeth. Not quite I sure why. <laughs> But there we go. So today, tell us a little bit about your interest in the gut and the immune system as a medic. So it's just gone a bit quiet. Have you put something over your mic? Oh, hold on one sec. Have I put something over my mic? How about that? Is that better? Okay, yeah, yeah that's better. Cool. <laughs> yeah, so, so tell us about your, your involvement as a medic with the microbiome and the immune system. How does that all link together? So as many people may or may not know, I'm an emergency doctor. And okay. so we see a lot of people come into the emergency room with issues relating to their gut, as in gut health, digestive problems, so you, severe bloating, issues with um, what we call inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's, ulcerative colitis. You see stuff mm. like constipation and bowel obstruction. And a lot of these could be linked through what we call original gut um, issues with the microbiome and digestive health. 70% of our immune system actually is like located in our gut and people don't actually realize just how important the gut is. 70% of the immune system yeah, is in the gut. They can come from our gut, yeah. So we have so many disorders that you wouldn't, you wouldn't realize from that can be created from the gut, even when we're going back the uh, last couple of years with COVID. Yeah. A lot of the prognosis that happened with COVID, especially negative prognosis for people who didn't have strong enough immune systems for a number of reasons, whether or not they were taking care of their health, and this could be gut health as well, yeah. whether they were on medications or drugs which may have suppressed their immune system, hence why we had a hierarchy of who was vulnerable or not. And then, so a lot of it comes down to it. So people think that when you think the microbiome and gut, you just think digestive health and constipation and doing your proper number twos and eating well, yeah. but there's a lot more to it, especially when it comes to like vitamin absorption, but I'm sure we'll get to that. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I really want to. Let's. Uh, I know that we've dived in on, on microbiome because it's my, one of my personal passions. But let's talk a little bit about you, first of all. You mentioned that you're an emergency doctor. So are you working yeah. in, in a hospital situation at the moment? What's, what's your role? Um, yes, yeah, so it's hospital situation. So it's emergency um, A&E shifts. Wow. So you're both A, tired, and B, busy. Very tired of very busy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being here. And you're a bit of a social media sensation, aren't you? You're, you're a, a TikTok superstar. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks. That was very flattering. So for me, I love um, content creation and combining it with education. Yeah. So I've done a lot of content creation on TikTok and Instagram and now even YouTube. And I combine it with educating the public on what I feel are relevant things. And I've actually turned that into a book, so I'm an author of your Health in Your Hands, which is a book um, I've put out basically which 
encompasses a lot of different aspects of health and how the basic public can use small changes in their mm-hmm. lifestyle which can affect their health in big ways and possibly prevent them from seeing their GPs and actually ending up seeing me. Yeah, we, if there's one person we don't want to see, it's you. <laughs> we are the, in the nicest way, you know. <laughs> in the nicest way, Mika, we really don't want to be heading to any. And presumably, a lot of the people that you are seeing in critical care are people whose immune function has really dived down, which is why it's become yeah. really front of mind. Of course, because infection, sepsis, chest infection, delirious, yeah. these are some of the things that we look at that are going to bring you into a and We know that infection is infected by immunity. Most of the time, the body has strong enough immune systems to fire off diseases, so yeah. especially what we call self-limiting diseases, such as viruses. Okay. But in somebody who may have a compromised immune system from maybe having a disease or a condition or taking medications, this is what, yeah. um, unfortunately, the outcome is. So the immune system relates to so much and there's so much you can do to have and yeah. to contribute to a healthy immune system and, and people you, and, often live. And, and sorry, I mean, and so much that's easy as well. It's, it's not even about giving stuff up. It's very often about adding the good bits in. Yeah, it's about making sure you're taking all the good bits rather than giving stuff up. There are things that we do recommend you give up for a okay. in the immune system, <laughs> such as excessive smoking and drinking. Make sure you're getting good sleep. Make yeah. sure you get moderate exercise. This is all going to contribute to a good function in the immune system. Yeah. But then adding stuff in, whether it's from a balanced diet or supplementation. Yeah. I was reading somewhere um, in terms of COVID and, and people who had worse outcomes that it was shown that if you had a very low level of vitamin D, that also put you at higher risk. So vitamin D is clearly a player. There were, yeah, there were, there, there were a lot of studies actually that looked at vitamin D and D3 and what the risks were from COVID. I remember my parents actually started taking vitamin D supplementation to help their immune system during COVID after some of the research came out. I think some of the studies, I think some of the the hypotheses from the studies and the actual conclusions from the studies, some of them did well, some of them did not so well. So I think it's still inconclusive in exactly how it can help COVID directly. But we all know just how good vitamin D can be, obviously for the immune system and yeah. that's why people get it in tablets and supplementation and a lot of people don't realize when they're deficient yeah so and if you do have any doubt you should be getting your vitamin d levels checked yeah and actually it's a, it's a uk government health regulation isn't it i mean oh, not a regulation it's advice the government even <laughs> yeah. suggests you know if you go onto the nhs website even the nhs which is sort of snail like perhaps in in responding to supplementation you know has recognized that everybody particularly in, especially at the moment we're not getting very much sunlight so, so vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc, these seem to be the kind of the key players. And it's really interesting, actually, when looking at immunity, that has actually got those three in it, as well as yeah. these little prebiotic bundles of goodness that feed our, our, our good gut bugs. Yeah, so it's impressive. What Bamido have done is they've obviously identified what the main nutrients are that contribute to a functioning immune system. Yeah. And we know that especially when it comes to vitamin D, vitamin D3, it's difficult to find um, natural sources very rich in it. And, that's, and sometimes it's difficult to get a lot of sunlight. And that's why a lot of people find themselves unnecessarily deficient. Yeah. So we know that we can get it by getting a good amount of um, sunlight with obviously good skin protection, I may add as well. Yeah. And, you know, you, we, and we know we can get it in stuff like cod liver oils and sometimes a lot of egg yolks and white so a lot of these come with their own issues especially when you talk about like egg yolks and stuff like this when you look at cholesterol levels so some people want just a vitamin d3 in itself and so they go straight to supplementation because you know you're getting the mineral you need without getting all the extras because you'd have to consume a lot of and they're quite to be able to get supplementation yeah yeah and and, and actually you know those who you know are not eating animal based products which is yeah. where, where you find d3 and the fat soluble vitamins like retinol and vitamin e for example yeah you know it, it can be it can be tricky can't it so you know yeah it can be what i like about this is this is a kind of an all in one i love things that multitask i think we're all fed up aren't we like having with you know endless different things that we have to take. Let's rewind to the original Bimuno, which I know a lot of my community know and love and take. And that has these galacto-oligosaccharides, if I've got that right, uh, which are these um, special sort of insoluble sugars, are they, that that the gut bugs really like? Yeah, 
It's insoluble sugars, and it's basically just to boost absorption. However, when you're actually taking when you're actually taking in a lot of this stuff, so vitamin D3, this actually helps the absorption of other minerals such like calcium and phosphates and stuff that's really important for not only gut health but bone health and muscle health as well. So it kind of adds to it. So they've kind of that's why I said they were quite kind of smart in picking out the big game changes and the big game players because by getting these yeah. fundamental minerals in your system you're actually going to increase the chance of getting others such as electrolyte that the body needs that's really interesting so those these these big players as you say vitamin c zinc d3 they're actually increasing the availability of the other nutrients that we might yeah. be having yeah, so we're boosting everything that's that's why and I know that we're getting a lot of specific gut questions. You can probably see on Instagram, you know, people with diverticulitis, and I know we've covered, you know, IBS and IBD and all sorts yeah. of different digestive issues. Presumably, something like the immuno is going to help by supporting the good gut bugs that can help yeah. with issues like that. Especially, I wouldn't want to say that it's um, a fix your gut completely sure. Um, sure because when it comes to the gut and the digestive system, it's so vast. And there's so many things that can go wrong with the gut. So like you said, IBS, you know, very similar symptoms to IBD, but completely different conditions. And we treat them differently. And that's going to be different to what we do with diverticulosis and diverticulitis as well. And these yes. are very serious conditions where you might need to go to A&E. You might not need to go to A&E in emergency for IBS and bloating. Symptoms can be managed at home. But if you have diverticulitis and potentially sepsis, then yes, you will be going. So yes, yeah. I don't want to... Someone to think, oh no, if I have diabetic like let me just take some amino and I'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, However, I know. However, especially for the normal healthy functioning gut, amino definitely plays a part, especially by amino immunity in by yeah. giving you the nutrients which are gonna just help keep a good gut microbiome environment. I think that's the main thing. Maintaining the healthy environment is mm -hmm. actually gonna prevent you the chances of developing these conditions. Obviously there are many different confounding factors which have been may predispose you to developing digestive yeah. conditions. However, by having these, I think it's the best way to actually prevent yourself from yeah. getting down that route. Not, not the same way a seatbelt prevents you from injuring yourself in a car crash. However, you can still injure yourself. You still got to drive car. carefully. I love that analogy. That's great. Yeah. And you know, what I love about you is that you are obviously, you know, a mainstream working NHS intensive care, you know, emergency doctor. And yet you're still really advocating that we take some sensible steps to look after our own well-being, recognizing you know, the importance of some supplements, recognizing the importance of our microbiome, not feeding it with the bad stuff, you know, all the sugars that feed all the bad gut bugs, but you know, supporting it with, with the good stuff. You know what that is, Liz? I think it comes from the fact that when I see patients come in to the emergency department, I can actually see that a lot of the time, um, a lot of the time, it's actually a case where, <clears throat> sorry, a lot of the time it's actually a case where, where they've developed into conditions which have brought them to an emergency department. However, some of these conditions may have been preventable. As in, if they've taken their time to prevent themselves to getting to that level, yeah. then you're thinking you wouldn't need Amy. Yeah. And that's what a lot of people don't understand, and I think it's the education of education in the public. You don't need to wait until you're severely ill and you have yeah. blood in your stools or whatnot to come and see the yeah. GP or the doctor. Like, you can do things while your body's actually normal. Yeah. People think if they're just getting, oh, if they're not having symptoms, they're completely normal. That's not always the case. No. And you've seen that with vitamin D deficiency. You may not express symptoms for years, but you may be severely vitamin D deficient. And then if you have a problem with your immunity, if so, uh, a virus comes and becomes a pandemic, yeah. and then you're wondering what happens to my health, and that's why we saw so many what we call or we're healthy people getting very, very unwell. And people were wondering, but why me? I, I'm okay, I don't usually take any medications, this, this, this. Yeah. However, a lot of people don't realize just how important their health is and what they can do now yeah. to prevent it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, prevention better than cure always. Um, in terms of the galacto oligosaccharides, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of questions coming up on, on Instagram here, and, and obviously the vitamins that are in here as well. Is this something that everybody could take? You know, are there any kind of contraindications? Does it interfere with any medication? Can we take it alongside anything else? I know a lot of my community are on HRT, for example. I would say, in general, they're very safe for the general public. Yeah. But like with, with like anything with medicine, even 
paracetamol, which seems generally safe. If you have a severe liver condition, there's some people we advise not yeah. to take it. Yeah. If you have any severe um, absorption conditions, or if you have any severe gut conditions, if you ever had um, a gut resection for perhaps perhaps for a condition where they've taken some out yeah. or you know, any other medications which seriously can affect your absorption, yeah. I say seek help help from yeah. your health professional, but in general they should be completely safe. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm interested, when you were at med school, how much did you get of your, probably what, seven years of, of medical training? How much of that was focused on nutrition? Um, mm, very little was focused on nutrition. We did a lot of um, digestive health, so we had quite a good module on gastroenterology. Yeah. And what, but it's mainly so what can go wrong with yeah. the gut, as in so what we've been generally learning, we do problem based learning and we see what can go wrong with the digestion, digestion um, system and then how we recognize it and how we treat it. It didn't actually really focus much on nutrition and prevention. Yeah. Yeah. As in, I, think they, I think because most curriculums, especially med school, assume that's common sense. They assume that's <laughs> yeah, common sense, maybe. Common sense isn't that common. And so they didn't really teach us to teach that to yeah. patients. And that's why a lot of doctors themselves may not even know. No. When we're taught in med school, we're taught to see what can go wrong with the human body. How do you recognize what can go wrong with the human body? How do you examine it? And then how do you treat it? And then that's basically our job. We're not really taught to, how to tell people how to maintain the body they have and how to prevent yeah. to get them. How to stay well. So what sparked your interest? Was it really seeing patients coming into a &E? And thinking, you know, that there has to be more. We can rewind this and change that scenario so that's not the outcome for them. For me, it was a build-up of everything I'd seen as a junior. Because the good thing about our foundation program is, as a junior, you get to do loads of rotation. So I went from geriatrics, seeing the elderly population. I saw orthopedics. I did a GP rotation as well. I did a stroke rotation. I did general surgery. And when you have such a broad view, you realize yeah. a lot of these patients could have prevented some of these conditions that they come in here with. Yeah. And then obviously doing the a &E itself, an emergency, like there's certain things, unfortunately, if you fall and you break your wrist or you break your arm, that, that, that's it. You're going to yeah. have to go to emergency. We're going to have to reduce your fracture, give you surgery, and then get you out yes, there. Please. However, yeah. Yeah, yeah, however, there are a number of different conditions. For example, if you have acute coronary syndrome, like... Heart, heart condition or heart failure or heart attack and you come in because you've had severe chest pain and then you realize actually you could have reduced your weight mm -hmm. and reduced your smoking and alcohol intake you yeah. could have gained moderate exercise and you could have looked at your cholesterol and reduced your blood sugars and then yeah. all that would have contributed to you not actually getting there so yeah and I feel like them, it's all, always multifactorial when it comes to medicine. Yeah, yeah. It's not one size fits all, and it's not flick on switch, on and off, because the human body is just so complex. Yeah. However, there are steps we can take today for yeah. ourselves and for our health, which is definitely going to help, and this is definitely one of them. Yeah, I mean, especially something as simple as this. Now, this is my little Bimuno sachet. I've actually been sipping it here. I just wanted to try it in water, because I know that you can add it to juices, you can sprinkle it onto, you know, smoothies and yogurts and all sorts but you know if you just want to have it plain i thought i'd do a live on a demo just so that you can see it's in a little paper sachet and you literally just tip it in and this is something that you'd have do you need to have it on its own or do you can you have it with food does it matter really no you can you, it, that's the good thing about it, it being plain and it being so easy to consume you can have it with water you can have it with yeah. food you can have it with plain you can have it basically with anything i suggest just simple water to be honest yeah it's just easy especially because you should be drinking a decent amount of water anyway oh, yes. and so it's just it's just basically adding it to it be yeah. like okay my every other cup i might add this every yeah. day to my second cup of water today and then i know i've done it and i know i've gotten my yeah. nutrition you, you you've got a good fan base here going i can see lots of lots of great comments and hearts coming your way on on instagram so just to recap <laughs> So this is brand new, it's Bimuno Immunity. So it's got the same oligosaccharides, if I've said that correctly, galacto oligosaccharides even, that you had before in the Bimuno, if you've been taking that every day and loving it to support gut health. And I'm right in saying, aren't I, that these are prebiotics, so they're not the actual probiotics themselves, they're not live. It's like fertilizer for your garden. This is the good stuff that your bugs, yeah, yeah, bugs will yeah, like to thrive. It's a, yeah, it's the precursor, the prebiotics, okay. correct. So, but, they actually, but they do contain the nutrients that we mentioned in terms of the zinc, the yeah. vitamin D, the vitamin C. 
So your D3, your vitamin C and your zinc, and actually in generous levels, not that the national recommended values are particularly high anyway, but they are 100% of your D3, your vitamin C and your zinc. Yeah. So that's five, five international units, is that right? So, yeah, it says, yeah, yeah, it says five. I, I always get mixed up with my international units and my, my milligrams. But anyway, it is 100%. So that is a really good way of topping it up. But some people I know do take quite a lot more of vitamin D if you don't absorb it or transport it very well. I've got members of my family who, who are on you know quite high doses of vitamin D. Because actually vitamin D, it's a bit of a misnomer and it's not actually a vitamin. It kind of is almost more like a hormone in the way it works because it's all this, these multi-factors that go on with it. Exactly, and that's why the vitamin D is so important yeah. in um, in hormonal production uh, for the absorption of other nutrients such as calcium, uh, magnesium, and phosphate. Excellent. Well, that's a really good reminder, actually, that it's not just what you're taking and it, that little bit is, is doing. Uh, yeah. yeah, the incremental knock-on effect of having those nutrients is then increasing, as you say, the absorption and utilization of things like calcium. Just getting onto the specifics here. I mentioned at the beginning that we've got an amazing saving actually with our Liz Loves. So don't forget your Liz Loves code. It does get you 10% off everything. But I know a lot of you love subscribing. And if you want to subscribe, we've got a, a unique link, which I'll make sure is posted on Facebook, and I'll, I'll give it to you in just a sec. And that gets you up to 43% off on subscriptions. And the great thing about subscriptions, of course, is you can take one out and then you can cancel it anytime if you want to. And the link for that is on bimuno.com. And it's forward slash Liz hyphen Earl hyphen wellbeing dot list. Okay, that's bimuno.com forward slash Liz hyphen Earl hyphen wellbeing dot list. So I think actually this is a really good addition. I take this, I take regular Bimuno all the time. I give it to my family. I've got my younger daughter in particular has a lot of um, gut health issues that she talks about quite publicly and linked to anxiety and all sorts. And my eldest daughter got Jardia when she was traveling through India and that trashed her microbiome and I think led to all kinds of autoimmune issues, you know, following. So they are seriously into Bimuno and I think adding it with these extra immunity vitamins is such a brilliant idea. Well, and minerals as well with the zinc. So thank you for your time. Are you back thank to you. are you back to work now? Are you back to your, your, your scrubs? Yeah, I, have, I, have, I actually have a bunch of paperwork sitting there for me to because mm. a lot of people don't realize so half of uh, being a doctor is seeing patients and being in there and half of it is the litigation we have to do we make paperwork and appraisals and all the academia we have to do because mm. medicine's forever changing so I have a lot to go a lot of that to do today so that's going to be, be my homework yeah well have a great rest of the day thank you for being with us and I hope you get to eat well because I have to say the last time I was in A&E which was just before Christmas I was really shocked that the only thing that I could find to eat was in vending machines and it was just cola drinks and chocolate bars and crisps, and that was it. And when I was talking yeah. to a member of staff about it, they said, listen, you think this is bad for you. We are here, you know, sometimes 24-7, and it's all we have on offer as well. So, yeah, that's, that's often the case. That's why I make sure that I meal prep and have my meals ready before, before I step into a &E, because if not, you're going you're gonna to be struggling. Yeah. I remember one time I actually forgot my meal on my desk because I was in a rush and I got there and I was, it was the first time I was like, I only have like a couple of packets of crisps to eat for my whole shift. I mean, that is just so shocking. I know there are, there are very uh, high profile people out there working on campaigns to change that because if anything, we need to look after you so that you can look after us. So I sincerely hope that I change. That. I love and, that. Uh, Amika, it's really lovely to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time and your busy day. Send you hearts. Thanks. thanks. Take care. Right. Bye now. You have to click off on the little the little cross, otherwise I click everybody off. What a lovely man. Almost makes me want to wish I was ending up in A&E, but no, of course it's not. That was just a joke, but great. And great that we have such forward-thinking medics like that who are thinking, actually, look at who's coming in and look at how we can protect our immune system. And I am seriously impressed. Thanks, Bimuno. Thanks for your generosity. You are so kind to us. You do more for us, I think, than any other community. So we are truly grateful. I think this is something that could be uh, an essential part of everybody's 
supplement regime because you're killing so many birds with one stone. You know, I love a multitasker. You know me. And if we can get something that's feeding our good gut bugs, that's sorting out our microbiome, that's boosting all our, our cells there, that's, that's connecting you know, the gut-brain axis, all of that great stuff that's going on, and at the same time, without even having to think about it, get our vitamin D3, our vitamin C, and our zinc. Now, I personally will probably take extra of those because I do feel that I need a bit more, but I think as a baseline, absolutely brilliant. Really fantastic. So thank you, and uh, I look forward to seeing you back on the screen again, Amika, perhaps with my old pal, Eamon. So just to recap, if you miss me on Tuesday, we were talking about a bit of a taboo. We had a deep dive into incontinence, both urinary incontinence and faecal incontinence, the staggering prevalence of it. One in two women will have a prolapse. We were talking about pelvic health. And we were really highlighting this really great brand, a fab female founder brand called Jude. I know many of you have connected. They've got a Facebook community um, called, I think it's called Meet Jude or We Are Jude. Perhaps, you, perhaps you'll pop the link on, uh, on Facebook. Um, and basically they have a supplement here which has got very interesting botanicals ingredients in it that help, and this has been statistically, clinically shown, to reduce the amount of times that you need to get up in the night for a wee. Yes, fascinating. And we also talked about the pads that they do, which are bamboo and super thin and super absorbent, and absorbent even. And these great things, knickers we were talking about, um, and this, this is one of their latest things, really super comfy to wear in sustainable fabrics. And they have this very slim but reinforced gusset here. And do you know that this will absorb up to eight teaspoons of liquid? So really amazing. And we talked about the benefits for runners, people doing yoga, people you know going out and about who are concerned, obviously the importance of pelvic floor and all of that. So if you didn't catch that live, we had a great female physio, Emma, who was with us. So please, please do take a look. It's on our catch up. You can see it on Instagram. You you can obviously see it on YouTube and on Facebook as well. Something else I'm really enjoying at the moment that I wanted to just give you a quick reminder about, and this was ARC. I know lots of you have asked me about skincare recently. ARC, which I really enjoy, it's another great female founder brand. It used to be salon only, it's that effective. It's now actually available as retail as well. I'm loving this one, this little thing, really, really clever. It's for around the eyes, so you pump a little bit onto your hand or onto your skin, and then you use it around the eyes with this little roller ball. And honestly, it's absolutely genius for helping to uh, give the lymphatic system around the eyes a quick little boost and helping to depuff, while also just popping lots of goodness onto the skin as well. And what I like about ARC is they've taken a lot of the guesswork out of skincare because they break it down into ages. So this one, this is probably a bit young for me actually because it's in your 30s and your 40s, but I quite like it. It's the Age Defend Moisturizer. It's very light. And then as you go up in age, the formulations get richer and they've got more different goodies in them. And you know, for like neck and throat creams and things. Anyway, really like ARC. And there is 20% off single items. 20% off and that's arcskincare.com. Just before I go, I hope that you are all enjoying your copy of Liz Our Wellbeing magazine. We've changed it slightly. I'll actually do an Instagram post a little bit later about it, just talking about the way we changed it. And the message here is for a better second half. And I hope that you know that everything that we do here is about aging well. It's about being the best that we can. It's about longevity, but it's actually about health span more than just lifespan. It's so that we get more health out of the years that we have. Anyway, the magazine is flying. You're loving it. So thank you for all your kind comments. Don't forget you can put pictures of you with your magazine or wherever you happen to be all around the world. Do you pop them and just tag us on Instagram especially and we will share them and I will definitely look out for those. And if you haven't yet subscribed, there's a great deal where you get a free issue plus a massive saving. You get your free PMP and you get your MTHK eye health vitamins, which have been developed by UCL and Moorfields ophthalmic surgeons and professors of ophthalmic surgery to help protect our eyesight as we age. And this is about 30 pounds, which is pretty much the same as a subscription. So I tell you, there is nothing not to love. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you. I'm just gonna end by saying, 
a very quick happy birthday. Happy 50th birthday, Taisha. Yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. That's tomorrow. You're going to be 50. So well done. Fab at 50 and beyond into a better second half, even better than before. Thank you for being part of our community. We love having you here. And I will be back with you live next week. We're going to be talking about chocolate. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. One of my favourite subjects. But we're going to be talking about the ins and the outs, the ups and the downs that come with chocolate. So I do hope you will join me. We're going to be talking about a fab sugar-free brand called Nomo Sue, which is absolutely brilliant. Again, a fab female founder with me then. So until then, I hope that you have a lovely rest of the day. Yeah, if you want to subscribe to the magazine, head to lizardwellbeing.com. Do take a look. Please do take a look. And Bimuno, absolutely. If you contact them directly, they're very active on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, on their website. They can answer specific questions, particularly gut health related. But until then, have a lovely, lovely rest of the day. Oh, nice, Aisha. I'm glad that you heard. Have a lovely day tomorrow, won't you? Blow out all those candles. It's going to take a while. <laughs> Sending lots of love. Bye-bye.